ma vite. Tout à l'heure, qui connecte. Tout à l'heure, qui connecte. Pour le training. Training. Oui, ça a gazé. Oui, ça a zouzoui. Tu vois, ma putain, il a zouzoui, il a pas nommé de tu. Tu vas coûter guérage. Hmm. We are waiting for you. So you are going to share your screen or shall we wait for Emma? Yeah. Okay, I'll make you as a presenter. Okay. Okay, make you as a presenter. Okay. Hello. Hi, Emma. Uh -huh. Hi. I'm sorry. I confused the hours, the uh, time. No problem. Yeah, you done your uh, assignment? Uh, yes, um, I did um, the other question you asked me to to use to to sum the the integer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if I can share my screen, I can show you how I did it. Uh, um. Yeah, now actually, Dos is going to share her screen and. Okay. Uh, let her uh, you explain your project, okay? What you have done? Are you already? I mean, um, are you seeing my screen? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'll first start with a binary to decimal converter. Yeah. yeah. As we know, uh, before. If we want to convert a binary number into decimal, uh, we first we do uh, if we have like one one zero zero. Yeah, mm -hmm. we take from the last digit. We take mm -hmm. zero times times two power zero. Okay. Zero times two power zero and plus zero times two power one and and so on. Yeah, that, that's what that the logic I used here. And then we do the summation of all this. Right. That's logic I used to convert the binary number into decimal number. First of all, I, 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 I have an integer here which I call the binary, and then uh, this one, expo. I will show you how I used it, and integer, the decimal number which is the output I want to get from this converter. Then the scanner to input the binary number here, and then. Uh, to do that, because I input an integer, in order to have this form here, I first uh, change it in, into a character array, like this. 
character array and then that character array so that I can uh, enter inside these arrays one by one and uh, compute these uh, calculations. So I did, first of all, I declare a character variable and then I initialize it to that uh, the string value of this binary number. Then I transformed it into a character, into character array. Then, to, in order to have one by one, I take this uh, for loop integer one i equals to zero. Then i is less than than this my character here with times the length of that character depending on the binary number I'll be entering, and then i plus plus. And then this expo here will be my will be my two mm -hmm. two power something depending on uh, my binary number. So if for example here this one here will be my expo then plus zero times two power one then plus one times two power two plus one times two power three. Then that's what I have. So my expo here is this one. This I mean this two power something. So to do that, I take this function math dot power. Uh, uh, yeah. Then because I have the the same base too, then I take my character times length minus one because if I have this one here, I will start by this one. But which is equal by uh, which is uh, power the all length of this uh, string minus one, right? Right. Which is right. Two power three. Yeah, that's that's what I did here, and every, all the time this exponential will be uh, times will have the, the value depending on. The, the place or the place where this uh, my character is. If, for example, I'm at zero, uh, i equals to zero. This will be uh, will be uh, my the all length I have minus one. I mean the the length I have, for example, if it's four back like here, will be four minus one which is 3 minus i, which is 4. Uh, what am I saying? Um, yeah, I don't know if you understand what I'm trying to say here. And then uh, the decimal, which is the, the output I want to get from this, will be this uh, the decimal I initialized here, plus then this exponential here mm -hmm. times the mm -hmm. character numerical value of each array character. Right. Yeah. So the output will be this decimal number. That's all right. I did. Okay. I can run it and show you. How I did that. Let's say, for example, I go one, one, two, two, anywhere. My decimal number is 12. That the first one, the second one was um, string to array. Okay. Yeah. 
हेलो 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 आर यू लिसनिंग टू मी या कैन यू हियर मी यस ओके सो uh first uh, of you, all you go just go back to the previous example okay so yeah here yeah. mm. yeah here uh, you are trying to read an integer right binary here yeah i i i read an integer here here binary mm. yeah mm -hmm. so okay so why you are using string dot value for this thing i use this to change this one into character array so that i may be able to consider each character right one by one mm -hmm. yeah because that is an integer right you use the string dot value of i right okay and um, yeah this one is an integer i took its value i put it in a string and then in to a character array okay okay yeah. so what is the limitation here the limitation of this program yeah here i didn't uh, specify that this binary has to be because someone may input whatever number mm -hmm. and still the program will will work so you 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 need to put a condition here whether that's a binary or not right yes so instead of for bring a binary number if i put a, a decimal number here so what's going to happen here can work i think it will do the same cause there is no condition saying that so yeah so you need to check uh, whether the integer whatever we are taking from the console you need yes. to check uh, pre check uh, whether that's a binary or not first thing right yes yes and second thing is uh, if if you you are going to take beyond the integer value let us say you try to enter 11 11 1 and uh, 5 ones and six zeros so what is the maximum value of integer oh yeah it has maximum value so i have to you have to pull. yeah you have to make sure that uh, it should not be beyond that yeah so put those two conditions here uh, to make sure that uh, you uh, you you did not miss anything right Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, uh, yeah. Can I do it now or I can do it after? 
Yeah, you can do it after no issues. Uh, you know the uh, condition, right? How to make this? Yes. Right. Okay. So just go to another example. What you have done? Another example is this one. Um, you change a string to a to a array of string. Uh, I had an issue here mm -hmm. because um, okay. Let me first explain what I say I did, and then I'll. Uh, let you know what I had as the problem. Here, I, got, I first get a string, and then uh, I can input it here, and yeah. then to change a, 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 a that string into a array, I mm -hmm. use this one, and to split that by using. Okay, okay. I was trying to use this. I, I use this just uh, space with nothing. Mm. Okay. So after that, uh, I can print it, print out by that array like mm -hmm. this by taking the length of this the, the, this string the array and then output that array. Okay. So the issue I had. When I am um, entering the array here, the string with space inside, I just get the first string I entered. Let's say, for example, here. Excuse me. This is. Hello. You see. Yeah. Yes. Hello. Can you hear me? Yes. I'm sorry, yeah. I lost connection on my computer. I switched to my phone. Okay, okay. So we are really no issues. Yeah. You you are this? Uh, no screen, right? Yeah. If I do this, uh, I get just this the first one I just entered. But if I initialize this here. Let's say, for example, and then I it comes the way I wanted it to come. So I was I tried I use even. Let's see. I couldn't get the form. I mean, the form of uh, array string like this. I don't know why. I tried to, but I didn't find the answer. Okay. Yeah, you tried for. I uh, know. Next line. Where? Uh, and stuff next. Here. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Just. This. Mm hmm. Oh. Oh wow. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Can you use Just it's, yeah. it's taking only one one character. If you use the next oh. line, read the entire, entire line. That's what it will do. Okay. I understand now. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. Okay, so we'll we are going to share uh, ask Emma to share her screen to explain other two examples. Sorry. Let me stop my. 
Yeah, we have other two examples, right? Repeated character replaced by replace. Um, so it's string in and string. I stopped already. Okay. Here. You make, you just right click on uh, uh, Emma and uh, you give as a presenter. Emma. Yeah. I, I stopped. I so still see my no, we are not able to see your screen, but uh, still it says you are the presenter. So uh, that's why you you give per permission to Emma to give present her screen. You just right click on okay. and uh, there will be an option to present. How can I do that? Yeah. You are able to see the attendees uh, list there in the console. Mm. Yeah. No, I can't see the, the list. Okay. Where can I find the list, please? Oh my God. Okay. Are you able to see the console here? Uh, there is option to share screen and uh, and all is uh, right. So there attendees list is there. Or that in here. Hello. Ah, hello. Okay. 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 Do one thing. You share your screen. I'm going to explain how to share in my screen. Okay. Okay. Just go to my just go to the other tab. Where? First so. tab. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where? This you yeah. are, it's all no no no. The flower this flower application is there, right? You just open this. On my right? Right. Oh my god. Oh this one? Uh -huh, yeah. Okay. Emma, which one? Oh, uh, can you go to the task bar down? This task bar. In the task bar, we are able to see the down. Uh, you see where you find notepad? Near notepad down. Yeah. Yeah. That's where I am. Sir, yeah, there you can able to see the attendees list, right? Yeah, I'm seeing them. So you just right click on Emma and uh, present her. Uh, click on web, actually. Uh, there are two. Things are the right. Yeah. Okay. Ten percent on download request. Okay. Good. I have to download it again. Yeah. 
It's a small size, I guess. Yeah, we need to do it. Can you see my screen? Yeah, but we are getting the Amazon from you. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I was using uh, the phone before. Mm. Mm. Now it is solved. Can you see my screen? Yes. Okay. Regarding the assignment um, on the, the sum of the integer, I created a class uh, called the sum of integers only, integer only, and um, I created uh, I initialized a, an input size and the sum uh, I initialized to zero and uh, this is the normal thing we have been using previously. So um, here uh, this for loop will help us to 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 store each entered character into the in this input string array. So I have uh, created a method, a boolean method to to check if the string entered is numeric, so that I can do the sum of the 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 numeric. Uh, element only so this method will help us will help me to check if if the input like the the character is numeric or not if it is um, numeric it will do summation if it's not numeric it won't take um, it won't take the summation so uh, I have used it here after assigning the first entered character here in, in input string one, uh, I mean zero. So if uh, this input string zero is numeric, so it, this, this condition, if it is true, it goes down, it comes down here and uh, we take this input string 0 and we change to character array and this is the, 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 the character array A. So we go through each character of that particular element which uh, I mentioned should be numeric and to, to sum up uh, character by character so I I did a for loop int j equals zero j less than input string i dot length j plus plus and um, this will sum up all all the 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 numeric like the character of the numeric element so and I print the sum of all, all the numeric numbers here. Okay. Yeah. Let's execute it and see. Let's say the size is four. So the string.
So this is um, 1 plus 2, 3, 6, 10 here, plus 1 and 3, it uh, sum up with 13. But you entered 4, 5, and another string, right? Yes. String, yeah. What about that? Can I continue to the next exercise? Uh, no, uh, you are going to check a complete string or a character by character. Excuse me? Hello? Yes? Are you able to see, uh, are you able to hear my voice? Yes. Yeah, so you are going to check uh, the complete uh, string is it an integer or uh, you are going to check character by character? I first check the complete element if it is numeric here mm -hmm. and after checking if it is numeric if it's true that's when I just take character by character here and I sum up those characters. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But. Okay. Okay, mm -hmm. so this is good, uh, Ima, uh, but, and we asked for uh, some of customized uh, assignments yesterday, right? Uh, we have given string to array and uh, binary to decimal, and uh, that's what uh, those explain, and uh, we have other two assignments, what I have given yesterday, right? Uh, repeating the character replaced by uppercase. Yes. Um, did you get, did you done that assignment? Yes, uh, I just, in four questions, I have been able to, to do the three questions, which are the string to array, the binary to decimal, and uh, the, the last one to search uh, the demo word into a sentence. Okay. Okay. Okay, so uh, uh, show me the fourth example then. So we are going to do, we'll discuss some third one. Yes, um, this is the class. I created such demo words with the main method here mm -hmm. and um, I initialize the input sentence as well as the Boolean class to help me to 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 help me to find if um, the character is entered is equal to the 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 uh, the word I want to compare it with or the character I want to search the the word I ha I want to search, sorry. So here, when um, the input is entered, mm -hmm. I use uh, this found, this boolean, this variable found, and I I use input sentence dot contains key, and the key here is the search, the 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 word I want to search in this ah. input sentence. Okay. So, and this integer index will help me to, to know where that, that, uh, uh, that word starts in the, the entire sentence. Mm -hmm. So, if found is true, I mean, if input, in input sentence dot contains key, this gives the uh, the positive value, like if it is it is correct, it is true. I print the word key here is found at this index. Mm -hmm. Right. If else, I I print like the word is not found. Okay. 
So the problem I I got here, I couldn't be able to to separate the sentence. What I have uh, to do is to to write all the sentence without putting a space. This is demo. So the word demo is found at index 7. But when I try to put space between uh, the words of this sentence, I don't get anything. Yeah, that's what uh, in earlier. Uh, yeah, I had line. to. Yeah. Use the uh, next line instead of the next. Okay. Yeah. Change it to next line. Uh, to next line, like yeah. one yeah. this. Oh, it works now. Okay, oh. so why do you use uh, both the uh, functions here? Uh, it's stuff that if, uh, if let us say, uh, uh, you just give another example, uh, something like uh, this is this is uh, uh, hi hello world. You just give that sentence. Hi hello world. Yeah. You want me to use that uh, sentence? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. See, uh, what what is As the, the key is demo. Hello. Yeah. Right. But uh, you you are trying to read the integer, uh, no index value of this thing, right? So what is the index here? We didn't find uh, we didn't find the key, and you are trying to read the index of a uh, key, right? Yeah. So it could be yeah, minus. Could be a negative minus. value. If if it is not found, right? Oh yes. Right. So instead of uh, putting these contains, if you can check, you can directly check the index of a particular uh, key. Uh, if it is a, a zero or greater than the greater than a zero, then that string contains that particular key, right? Do you agree that? No, I don't. I don't get what you're trying to explain. Emma, are you there? Emma, oh, she's not there. Okay. Yes. Can so, you hear me? Yeah, we are able to. Are you able to hear our voice? Oh. Hello. No. Yes. Can you hear me? Yes, we are. Uh, yeah. We are. Are you able to hear my voice? Ah. Uh, I don't think so. She was. Maybe. Hello. She we, yes, Emma. Hello. We can hear you. Hey. Oh, okay. I now hear you. I have a terrible internet connection here. I'm sorry about that. Oh, uh, okay. No issues. So that what what I'm saying is, uh, you are you are checking two conditions here. One thing is contains, and second one is index of, right? Yes. Yes. So, uh, if you learn the uh, index, what is the what is index of? Uh, how it works? So if 
if you, d if you didn't uh, find any key in the string, what is the value of index you are going to get? Try to print that uh, index value there. Mm -hmm. Oh. Hello. Hello. Yes. Oh. Mm -hmm. How you keep Hi, hello world. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Can you hear me? Now we can yeah. hear you. Just secured. Execute the program. Ah, no, 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 the, no, 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 you just give hi, hello world. Yeah. No. So what is the index is value? Minus, minus, one. minus one, right? Minus. So, yeah, if, so, uh, if you didn't find the word, uh, particular word in the sentence, so and then the index value is negative value minus one, right? So yeah. uh, you you didn't need, need to mention contents here. Only only thing is uh, you need to check the index value whether it's zero or greater than that. You I can't get that. to what you are saying. Can you come again? Uh, actually, you are trying to use the two functions here, right? The contains and the index of. Yes. What I am saying is, you didn't need to use the contains here. You instead of that, you, index of will work smoothly, oh. right? This is index of also is going to check whether uh, string the particular word is there or not, right? Oh, okay. Yes. Found is a key. Found is a Boolean value. You are trying. Yeah. It's an integer. Give index there. Instead of found, you just give index there. Yeah. In, in. Right. Okay. So now you now here you put a condition here. A found is greater than or equal to zero. This is what I'm getting. You just delete that index, uh, the print statement there above the condition. Now you try to execute and check. What are you displaying? Oh, okay. I have to display the index here. Found. Found. That's found. Found. That's found. That's found. Let me try to execute and put hi hello world. Oh, okay. Right. 
Now makes sense. Okay, so then you this is good actually. Uh, I know uh, the program what the logic what you used uh, absolutely works. The works fine and uh, this the program what you have done is good. But uh, you you can use uh, optimize op optimization in your code works and stating that uh, how we can use in a single command how can we read the code right? So instead of that uh, we can put a single statement. It's good. You are yes. Good. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Those you have done that another example. Uh, what uh, what we are checking the third example. Repeated character. Yes. I tried. I tried. Uh, I couldn't get some. Okay. Because okay. the, the last, I did it at last, and I was. I think if I get more time, I can do it. But I tried, but I, I couldn't be able to do that today. Sure. Okay. So, do you want some more time to uh, work on this, or you want me to do and explain you how how, to, how that works? You can explain us. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Okay. Give me the presenter here, so I will work on that. No issues. Hello. Yes, Emma. Did you uh, make Pavan as uh, as a presenter? I think I did. No, I, I still want to see your screen. Oh, your screen. I thought I done it. Do you remember how we did it, Tus? Yeah, you go on your right. You see this small thing. I mean, it's like uh, another window. Yes. There is attendees. Yeah, I have right? attendees here, yes. You open it and you will see his name and right click on him and make it oh. him as a present. I was double clicking on him. There you go. Thank you. Uh, give me a moment. I'm just sharing my screen. Please. Uh, okay.
Should you able to see my screen now? Yes. yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we'll try to create a program here. Class. What is the function name? Okay. It's a demo one. Okay, we'll click on this. So yeah, we have a class demo one here and uh, we have a main function as well. So what now we, we need to try to do is uh, we need to read a string now here, right? Yes. So yeah. Okay. Take a string and input one equal to in dot next line. Okay, so you are reading the string now. We got we got the string now, and now what we'll do is uh, we'll try to uh, convert it into a character. Okay, character by character, because yeah. uh, we need to we need to check each character by character, right? So example here right. is example is hello. Right. So this needs to be add to H. Transform this string into character. Car. Initialize. And write car. The character array. Okay. Character array. Okay. Equal to. Okay. New. Okay. Of the. Two hundred. Okay. Give a number. Yes. Next. And then, um, in the two for loop. For loop. For I can then. And for input one dot left. I plus plus. Right. Yeah. Right. Input one. Okay. It lands more like that. And then okay. uh, this uh, A. A of I. I equals. Equals. Equal to. Input one. One. Of. Dot. No. Input one dot. 
Okay. Good. Correct. Correct. Uh, Correct. 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 Correct.
then input uh, one input one of i one dot uh, uh. Uh, at I right value here. Mm -hmm. Input I. So let's take uh, I uh, I right. So if you put I here, so what is the uh, what is the value it's going to enter here there? Zero. zero. It maps H to zero. String to string, right? This is the character. This is the integer. Yeah. Right. Now you need to convert this to integer. Or what we need to do is uh, we need to put the character. And integer, right? Yeah. So what we'll do is we'll change here, okay? So I can uh -oh. right. So what it says. Why it's not accepting? Right. It works, right? Yeah. Yeah. Now tell me how. How we can do this? We'll do is uh, we will try to check whether particular uh, map is available or not. Okay. Hello. Hello. Did you able to hear my voice? Yes. 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 What we'll do is uh, we will try to check uh, whether but uh, the particular map. Uh, okay. Entry is available or not. Okay. okay. Our map entry. How are we gonna do that? How to check that uh, particular oh, element is available or not in in hash in map. Mm -hmm. Map. Yeah, map. In a map, how are you gonna check a particular? Element is available or not? If mm -hmm. map that contains key to I. Okay, I. What we need to check? We need to check. Uh, Input right, input one dot. Right. Right. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Right. Mm. So, yeah. At I. At I. Okay. That's the key available or not. Okay. okay. If that key is available, the, what it's going to return? It will take the boolean value false okay returns true otherwise it's going to return the false right okay okay, okay. 
Now, mm -hmm. now we need to increment this <coughs> map dot key, key set map of okay. So how to how to get the uh, key from a particular hash value? I mean hash key. Uh, we have a hash key here. How to get the value? It is. Um, I don't know. We, if we have a map here, okay. We have a map here, and we want it. We want a value from that. How are you gonna do that? Yes. Map. Map. Off. Okay. Good. And put one dot carrot off. Right. Dot value. We are not going to get this like this. Get. Key. What is this key? And put one dot. Right. Oh. Right. Uh, if you use like this, we will get only, okay. Right. So now, uh, now it's, uh, we entered the, uh, each character and uh, the value here. Okay. So now, what? Now what we need? What you need to check if that uh, that is greater than one, then yes, we, then we are going to make it the upper case, right? Excuse me, sir. Yeah. So what's the Go question ahead, here? Sir. Uh. I don't understand. I mean, first of all, uh, using this map to put, we get the key and oh, yeah. the key. But mm -hmm. I don't know why you use this map dot get again. This. Why? What is it? What's the output? Can we wait? Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna explain. Actually, yeah. So this is the string actually. Okay. Yes. So yes. Actually, yeah, okay. So now uh, we are going to uh, enter here H, okay? Okay? Yes. Yeah. So if, uh, if H is uh, H is found here, okay? So what we need to do is uh, we need to increment this by 1, right? Plus 1. We need to and we need to increment this by one, or else what we need to do is we need to enter only one, right? This this looks much complex, right? Yeah. Right. You, now you get it. Why do if we have to for Mm -hmm. Sorry. Why do we have to get one? This one over there. So yeah, uh, if you if if you find if you didn't find the key, so what do you what do you need to do is uh, you need to put the value as one. If you found the key, then you need to increment the value. Yes. Ah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. You got it. I mean, this map dot get input dot character will 
will be a, a, a number. Mm -hmm. Here, yeah, this one. Take... Yeah, it's going to be a number. Okay. You got it? Yes. I got it. Um, yeah. Yes, yeah, you both understand, right? Yeah, I understand. Yeah, I, I understand. I understand. Yeah, so what, what what my intention is, so we have a string here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so yeah. now actually in this string, I want to put each character into hash. Okay, if this yeah. hash, if, if, if one character is available in the string, then yeah. I want to increment increment the value. If it is not okay. available, then I want to put as one, yeah. only one character, one, yeah. right? Yeah. So let us say take one H here. Okay, H is mm -hmm. available. It is not available here. It's not contains yes. that character. So it's going to put as one value as one. So again, it's okay. going to check with E. The same, it, the same is going to ent enter as one, right? The same for same with L also. It's going to enter one. Again, if it is repeated with L again, so this contains that L already. Right? Yes. Yes. So what it's going to do? Uh, what is the value of this one? One. One plus one? Two. Two. So now, what is what is the now uh, how uh, how how many L's are there now? Up to now? Two. 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 That's what I just I just trying to check in a particular entire strain how many yes. uh, how how many character how many characters repeated? Okay. Yeah. Got it. Got it. Okay. Got it. Right. So if you get that, so what we will do is, uh, in a for loop again, we will check whether that character is repeated or not. Okay. Right. In 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 a for loop again, in a for loop, what we will do is, we will try to check uh, each character by character in the in this character. Character by character, if we this is repeated, if this value, if this hash value is greater than one, then what we need to do? We need to uh, we need to change this to uppercase. Upper case. Case. Upper case. Right. Yeah. That's what I was trying to do. Otherwise, we you can able to check the uh, you no know, count by directly uh, um, query also. I mean. Uh, how many elves are available in this string? You you can able to get that, right? Okay. From yeah. that also you can able to do that, but I am trying to use using hashes. Yes. So that uh, you can able to understand uh, how what is the purpose of hash, right? So that's why I just try to uh, put an example using hash. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So we, you have uh, both both the things now, and any questions? You are getting no. right. Yeah. Yes. So far, it's good. Yeah. So now, how are you gonna print uh, hash? How are you gonna print hash? Oh. Oh, okay, we'll take for loop i equal to zero. Okay. Yeah. So what's next? I less I less than dot one. one dot less I plus plus. Mm -hmm. So uh, instead of this, what we'll do is we'll try to put the same condition here. Okay. 
so we haven't used this right so what we'll do is oops something is crashed oh. okay. okay so here we got the character by character right so now what we'll do is we will try to get the value here map dot get of here okay if it's greater than one and how to make how to convert the upper case Character I, I, I to uppercase. This, this, this is going to work for character. No, dot character. You, you. How to convert this to uh, uppercase? Just tell me. Or else it will, it will take as it is. Okay. So now you have to convert this to uppercase. If it is greater than one, I am converting to uppercase, right? Yeah. So how to convert to uppercase character to uppercase? The character to uppercase you will do uh character dot to uppercase. Mm -hmm. Character dot uppercase will work. Not. Character dot uppercase. uppercase. Is this going to work? No. no. This is not working. Is it this work? Yeah, it works. Yeah. It works, right? So now what you need to do? You need to print. Print. Just in the tab. Okay. Program is done, so we'll try to check any errors are available. Yeah. Okay. So I'm trying to enter. Hello. Oh. Okay. So okay, okay. So this was this worked actually, uh, but uh, the character length I have given here it is 200 or something, right? So what is the length here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11, right? Oh. Right. Get, you get the program? Okay. Check it whether it worked or not. It works. Wow. It works. Did you have any questions in there? Uh, no, I don't have any question. I'm just happy no. to how, to know how this. Please ask any. Uh, this is a much complex program. What what I have written, right? So, no, you can able to search the keywords. And uh, think whether uh, it's repeated or not, and you can able to do that. But I use hashes here uh, to get the length, and uh, the length I am passing to dash uh, whether it's repeated yeah. or not. Again, I am checking whether it's greater than one or not. A lot of things, right? So, do you want me to put right. comments? 
Yeah, you can put comment because I had internet issues. I couldn't get some word you were talking about, something you were talking about. And we can review the codes and try to understand on our own. So that's what I just asking. Because yeah. if you understand this now, then you didn't get, you will not get much logic here. The law. So, okay. What? I'm going to do is uh, here. I'm trying to read the string. Okay. Here. Yes. Using hash map to get the then get the repeated characters. Number, number of repeated characters. Okay. 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 To understand this, I am going to print uh, system dot dot is going to work. Okay. So I'm going to print this as well so that you can able to understand. Uh, yeah. Right? So what is the R here? Repeated only once. D repeated only once. L repeated three times. Yes. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. This yeah. is how I was in inserting into the map. Okay. It makes sense now. Okay. Oh, I was here. If repeated character, then I'm going to Oh, okay. Right. If here, here, what I'm doing? If not repeated. That means value equal to one. Then what I'm doing? Print as is. Okay. So now in string. As it is, I am printing. As it is, I am doing printing. If you want to uh, convert it to lower case, then you, what you need to do here? Char Character. Dot to, to lower case. Lower case. Then what? Yeah. What you need to do here? Then print lower case. Okay, if not repeated, character lower case. Right? Done? Right. Okay, that's all for today, and uh, let us uh, look for other programs tomorrow. Okay? Excuse so, me, sir. Can I ask one yeah, simple question yeah. here uh, so, for the map? Mm -hmm. how, how does it display like um, 
the value and the key here. I can see the space equals one, error equals one. It it doesn't follow like the uh, any order. Mm -hmm. Order no. Uh, the the re, uh, map is not ordered. Uh, it will not be inserted in order. Okay. There will not be in, uh, order in the map. And only arrays and you know list those kind of uh, collections you will be getting ordered. But in hashes there will not be concept of. Um, Order, okay. Okay. So, so it's just what it's really going to do is, uh, if let us say, key is a unique character, okay. So let us say, uh, uh, that's what I was telling uh, in a yesterday's example also. In a student class, okay, students, uh, let us say, students are available, okay. In the students, uh, I. I want to uh, put his entire marks, okay, his uh, address, phone number, everything as a value. But okay. his key should be his ID. Yeah. Student ID should be a key. Value value can be anything, okay. His marks or okay, his uh, phone number. Okay, or his city, anything, whatever it may be. Okay, anything. Okay, so if okay. if I call, I I want to get the oh. number of students. Okay, so oh. to do as a uh, assignment for tomorrow. Okay, so that you can able to understand, right? So right now, uh, the student uh, student is there, and let us say the student available in my class okay they are having in IDs like 001 0012 0013 13 so on okay. Yeah. okay so these are the IDs their IDs okay this is yes. actually okay you can take this as an array and these are their IDs uh, they are living in a different cities Okay, cities like London, okay, New York, Boston, okay, something, uh, okay, let us say take three, ten students are there, they are living in three cities. Now, okay. I want, I want the number of students who is living in New York. number of uh, students who, who are living in the New York. Okay. Got it? Got it. Yes. So take any example, uh, 001 uh, in London, 002 might be in London, 003 in New York, something, you know, 10 students, few of the students might be there in one city. So I want their list actually. You got it? So the yeah. in like this also you can able to uh, search the students. If you can put city into the uh, ID now, then this IDs will overwrite. This is this is not this is uh, you should not use in this case. Only uh, if key is unique then I want a uh, uh, I want a list of students uh, who is going to get. Who, let us say the value is mark. Value is marks. Okay. Marks. Somebody get ninety percent, ninety-two percent, ninety-five percent, like this, right? Right. So, I, if I want to get uh, the persons who is uh, whose marks is ninety-five percent, ninety-five marks, then you can have easily get using hashes. Okay. If you use arrays or any other uh, uh, string, whatever it is, you, you can't get this. You can't achieve this. Only using hashes only, you can able to get this. Okay. Okay. Right? So, you remember uh, the, the case actually. 
in which case we need to use the hashes. Okay. When right. you want to okay, to, uh, write this example for tomorrow. We will meet uh, tomorrow and uh, we will discuss about this. Uh, you asked for the uh, validation of uh, email, email validation, but we didn't get the chance to work on this today, right? So tomorrow, right. Uh, the starting of the session, I'm going to explain the validation, how you will do the, not only the email address, uh, if, uh, in, in your, in real time you may get lot of validations like uh, there should not be a numeric value, there should not be uppercase, there should not be lowercase, there should not be, you need to validate the email address or something like uh, in lot of validation should be there, right? So we will discuss about the validation of email tomorrow. And if you want to have any other example of validation, then yeah, we can do tomorrow, right? Okay. Any questions for today? You want to uh, you want to have this program? Yes. That's to have can this program. Even this video. How to paste this? You noted down, or you want me to copy somewhere? If you can share it on Google Drive. Yeah, we can, but uh, we have we Test have some, we have some option for charting, right? I didn't get this charting here. Okay. Yeah, if if I up, upload into the Google Drive also, uh, then how you gonna get this? Okay. Another way you can do is to send it by email. Yeah. If possible. Sure. Uh, Okay, I pasted okay. this, or it might. Tell me your email address. Mine is M U H okay. I okay. M W E W Yes W, w E Okay. Oh sorry, M U Okay. C can you go back to M U? Okay. M yep. uh, I, I, I'm trying to start over. M U H I. Okay. S. Okay. H H I. Okay. I M W E. M W. E. E right. Okay. Gmail. Gmail dot com. Okay. Mine is yeah. Mine is L A L A dot S A dot S A no 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 please L no L A D I said it over mm -hmm. sorry. I didn't. I didn't uh, understand you, your voice is very low. And I'm saying. I'm saying. L A. Okay. No, just uh, delete all. 
S A A. You need S A A. S A A. Okay. N N N A N A S A A. That's it, right? No. No. Uh -huh. Sorry. Mm -hmm. I'm saying delete even A A and S. You can delete them. Yeah. Again, A. Delete. I'm trying to start over. Okay. L A A. L A. Mm -hmm. You can delete the A also. Delete. I didn't. Uh, your voice is low. I'll get it from her. Okay, then that that yeah, I'm going to send uh, uh, to this email address. So you you please forward to her. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Thank okay. You. Uh, okay. Fine. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. <sighs>